Hello together, my name is Johannes and welcome to our first tutorial video. In this video we will teach you the basics of infinity maps and how to navigate your way around the interface so that you can create your own maps and scale your own ideas. Let's get started with the basics. The first area topic that we cover is the canvas. The canvas is the area where you interact and create content. In this UI here, it's the, the beige area and everything within it. So all everything here is the canvas. On the left side, you have the toolbar. And with the toolbar, you can um, create cards, um, modify them, delete them. You just simply can interact uh, with everything on the canvas. So now we've introduced a new term, it's card. And basically the funny thing with infinity maps is that everything is a card. So no matter how many million cards you have, basically everything is just a card within another card. Um, this card consists of two parts. The one is the header and the other one here is the body. And the body, every body again is a container for more cards. You can differentiate these two by um, the color. So the, um, the header always is a little bit darker. And also, if you change the color, there will always be a difference in the color. Um, okay, now, and uh, well, the lower part is the body. When you will navigate with the map, um, you have several ways to navigate. The first one is you can um, drag and drop, and by this you move around the whole canvas. Another one is you scroll. So with the mouse wheel or the, with the touch gesture, you can um, use that to zoom in and to zoom out. If you double click on something, that this card gets in the focus. Um, if you press escape, um, then you move one visual layer out. And um, of course, you also can navigate with keys. For example, you can use the um, arrow keys to navigate um, within one level. And if you press space, then you can center one card. And um, also you can um, use tab and shift tab. With tab, you get lower, with shift tab, you get higher. And um, get on. so by this, you can also move down and up the, the canvas. So um, for the more, fan more fancy stuff, um, if you want to select a card, then just simply left click on it. And if you want to select multiple cards, then you have to click on Windows computer um, control. On Mac, um, it's command. And then you can multi-select them. And then also multi-move them. Um, so to create a new card, um, you can use the create mode, for example, then you get here a ghost and then you click on the ghost and you have a new card and you can start typing. Or if you are not in the uh, add mode, then you just can press, um, if you have selected the card, um, control enter or command enter, and uh, then you get another card. And uh, if you press Shift Enter, you get a new a new uh, child card. Um, you, know, you can move cards by different ways. So the one is you select a card, then it's basically unlocked, and then on the edges you get um, the hand icon, and then with this one you can move it. Um, but because sometimes you'll have to uh, drag around a lot of stuff, and you don't want to unlock every card um, hand by hand, then it can come in handy to have um, a move mode. And you enable that by pressing here the hand, and then you are in move mode, and then you don't have to unlock the cards to move them. You just can move them one by one. And uh, get on, and you press the hand button again, and then it's uh, again without the move mode. 
Um, you can delete cards with uh, the trash icon or you can press the delete icon or backspace on Mac. Um, to edit a card, you just click on it and uh, if there is no text on it, it has automatically the edit focus and you can add it. Um, otherwise, you have to select the card and then you hover with the mouse over it and then you just can um, click with your cursor on the right position and then uh, you can make your changes and by pressing enter you've, uh, you've, you save them. You can duplicate cards uh, by two ways. The one is you um, go here in the three points in the three dots menu and click on duplicate. The other one is you press command D or control D on Windows. Um, you can copy paste stuff like in every other application with command um, C, command V or um, with, command, uh, with control C and control V. Um, you can undo and redo stuff. Well, that's just basic. That you would expect from any app. You can delete all that and in command Z you can make that mistake undone. Uh, done. Uh, un and undone. Um, so now it gets a little bit more fancy. Um, you can resize elements. And you do that by clicking on the little triangle on the right border and the right corner. And you, then you can um, drag it. Um, once you put content into the body of this card, um, you might encounter the point that the body has not uh, the, the content in the body has not the right scale that it's either too small or it's too big and you can't read it properly. Then you have two options. The first one is um, you can um, resize it with the scale down button and uh, um, not resize it. Um, you can scale the content. It's just the scale button. Um, and uh, there's also a scale up button, but as you have to use that seldomly, it's um, hidden here in the menu. And you also could do that by um, with, uh, with the shortcuts uh, like um, Control Shift Plus and Control um, Shift Minus or with Command on Mac. Um, genau, what's next? Uh, linking cards. Um, to link a card, you click an element, you select it, then you click on the link button, then you click on the item you want to connect it. So that's just basic. Or you use um, Alt, uh, Alt, Shift to connect it, and um, or Option, Shift on Mac. And um, you can by this also connect um, a card another card to multiple other cards and um, you can click on connections to name them um, or to delete them for example i can say okay hey these two guys don't like then i also can color so i can rate this um, i can rate this relationship um, and uh, you know if i want to see all the connections then i just can press on show connections and then I can see all the connections that are active at this time. Or oh, I can see basically all the connections active all the time. Um, yeah, now uh, that's it basically. So if you select a card, you can change its color. And uh, there's also short codes for that. So put um, control one to nine and you can quick change the color. So, for example, if you use the color for rating something, you can um, access them more conveniently. Um, you can add files and images. So basically select the card and then click on attach file or image and then select a beautiful picture um, or add a um, other document like a PDF file and then you can add it and then you can see it and that it's added and then with the with this icon here you can access um, access the document or 
Usually it should open in a new tab. I'm not sure why I download it now, but we will fix that soon. Um, also, if uh, you um, want to use templates, for example, for developing a new business idea, then you just can add a new template um, here. You click on select a card, or you select a card, then you click on the three dots menu, then you go up to templates, uh, then you make manage or insert templates, then you add a template, for example, um, a link canvas by clicking on it, and then you have it and you can fill it. Um, also, you can um, use your own templates. So you do that by selecting a template or something that is similar to a template like this, like this my um, personal professional pizza rating template. Um, and then you click on the three dots menu, you click on templates, create new template, you give it a name, you give it some keywords, and um, if you are admin like myself, you can make this public, but usually you just, um, uh, as a user, you would have that for yourself. And um, then you can access it via this uh, library, where you also see here, so I have my own templates, and I have the public templates, which are available for everybody. Um, you can, if you have created enough content, um, take this content and share it with other people. Um, and uh, you do this by going to share map and then you can share your map. Um, if you do that, it's shared publicly. So everybody can see it and it's listed on our um, homepage. If you click on share unlisted, then the map will be shared. Um, but it will uh, not be listed on the homepage, so uh, um, you on, only those people who have access to the link can see it. And um, then that's already a quite good protection because um, it's quite hard to guess these links um, because there are many trillions option, trillions of options um, how this combination of uh, words and numbers could look like. And um, also, it's important if you share this part here, this is, uh, indicates where you are in the map. So um, this uh, part behind here changes every time that you click a new card. And so you can share also the focus of what uh, a person should look like, uh, should look at, especially when you're sharing a big map, that's quite important. And um, once, uh, yeah, nobody else needs access anymore, then you just can click on unshare. And then it's again your private map. And um, then you can go here to home. And um, then in the community, you can see all the maps available to everybody. And in my maps, then again, you see your own maps only. And I do my tutorial map, for example. Yeah, my friends. So that's it. That was my first Infinity Maps tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope it was useful. Please leave your comments um, if you are missing something. And uh, of course, like and subscribe if you want more um, Infinity Maps related content. Uh, thanks for watching and bye bye.